Hey friends, I'm here at uh, Penn Station. Uh, this view is the driveway uh, between uh, 32nd and 33rd Street. Um, it's out of service. It's been out of service basically since 9-11. Uh, uh, it used to be like a taxi stand. I'm sorry, between 31st Street and 33rd Street. Anyways, uh, th this is one of the main entrances that's not as well used to Penn Station. Uh, this is the, uh, the original uh, Amtrak uh, area before they uh, opened up Moynihan Train Hall. And this is uh, the part of the station we're now re is really closer to 8th Avenue, uh, like directly across from Moynihan Train Hall. Uh, ahead is a uh, secure ticketing waiting area. Uh, you must have a ticket, supposedly, to, uh, to wait in there. And from inside and also from outside the main, uh, the main area, uh, there's access to Starbucks. And I had mentioned this in another video, uh, this new bar here called Sidebar. You want to catch a drink before your train. And you can also, um, and there are some people getting drinks from uh, inside the secure waiting area. And this part of the station has a lot of good services if you're going to take a train either Jersey Transit or Amtrak for um, snacks. Pretty good selection, good variety. And the I guess ubiquitous Hudson News uh, for snacks, books, supplies, whatnot, batteries. So one time this was the the main waiting area for uh, both Amtrak and Jersey Transit. Uh, it is now mostly used for Jersey Transit, although you can get an Amtrak train from here. And I'll take a quick look up at the board. There's, uh, they're boarding right now three trains, uh, two an Amtrak and a Jersey Transit. And right now it's 2.51 in between now and uh, it's about almost say three o'clock between now and four o'clock. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 trains. Boarding. So yeah, so it's it's still a very it's a very busy place. Um, the area behind the blue construction walls that used to be like all Amtrak services. Uh, since now they've been moved to Moynihan Train Hall. We'll wait and see uh, what that will be. Maybe some restaurants. Maybe some I don't know food places, snack places. I have no idea. So we're just gonna uh, take an overview. The original departure boards are right in the middle of the station. Now there's two at each end. Um, and there's also departure boards on the sides um, for each specific track. Anyways, we're going to be exiting up to 8th Avenue on the 33rd Street uh, side of the station. And we're just going to do a quick walk across the street to one hand train hall. Uh, I go to my favorite uh, pizza place and get a couple slices. Hold me over for to dinner tonight. So it's a uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon in New York. It's supposed to rain today, but um, I guess God had other plans. This uh, Dwayne Reed, which was a uh, pretty big Dwayne Reed, it's owned by Walmart, uh, Wal Walgreens now. Um, this has been closed for a little while. 
However, I still see people eating on the roof of it. That's another restaurant there. And we're looking up at uh, Madison Square Garden. So across the street is Moynihan Train Hall in the General Post Office. And one of the plans in, uh, for the station, and it's really in flux of a few proposals, is to make a grand entrance right down here, uh, right across from the post office, and uh, into in case this uh, Madison Square Garden, which is a round building, to encase it in glass and add services around it to leave it in place. There's other plans that to move it. Um, everything is kind of up in the air now. Uh, the garden is 60 years old. Um, it would be very expensive to have it moved. But I believe that the, the, the lease agreement they have is, um, I think something has to be done in about 10 years. I think that was the only extension. So we're just crossing uh, 8th Avenue. I mean, we could have done this underground. Over here we have a uh, entrance to the 8th Avenue subway, the ACE, and Penn Station. And so here we have um, Moynihan Train Hall, trains to the Long Island Railroad, and Amtrak. So we'll take a quick look, see how busy it is here. So this is open 20 hours a day and closes between 1 and 5. However, the other part of the station we were just at that is open 24-7. Because there are trains that leave, uh, you know, between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Amtrak, Long Island Railroad, and maybe a Jersey Transit. To the main hall here at Moynihan and it's busy not not overwhelming busy but um there's a few people lined up we're trying there other people just waiting for their track number to be called and this board lists all the Long Island railroad stations in the system kind of a cool kind of a cool graphic so you can see um, you can see your station and to see uh, what time the next train will be to that station and if the track number is posted yet and what the name of the line is. Uh, I'm just looking to see Long Island City. It's not up there because they don't run there on Saturday or Sunday. It's, it's strictly a a weekday rush hour type situation. So this. Um, this this sign is a little bit dynamic because uh, if, this, if the train's not running there today, it's not listed. I love to come back sometime and see if the Long Island City uh, stop is listed or the Hunters Point Avenue, which also is not listed because there's no trains there today. Party folks. Um, along the side here, we just have some services. Uh, newsstand and different types of food. Passengers should proceed to track This is new, I'm not quite sure what they're selling, some type of food. So anyways, they, uh, there's still more more restaurants that will be open here. This is the main food food hall and it's pretty busy and the bar a number of people at the bar but this is what we're here for sauce pizzeria already friends thanks for watching take care